Hi guys and welcome to my Grand Prix review and I'm going to call this one the British Grand Prix tyre gate as there was a lot of problems with the tyres with uh, them exploding pretty much and just yeah Hamilton, Massa, Eric Byrne and Perez had a tyre favourite in final practice which made the race really interesting yet yeah, it brings up the whole thing of safety in uh, the world of motorsport and the world of F1. Now for me if you see something like it it makes a good race but it also is very very dangerous. You never want to see it ever. The, when I say good race it's just the excitement levels I think for fans when they see it like oh my god that just happened. But in the end it was Rothbard that won again and it seems like the Mercedes has got a really really good car at the moment and it seems to be running really well. And uh, Vettel wasn't in the points at all after he had a gearbox failure and it just seems like his car is not reliable enough this year. And that mainly because I don't think they had time to build another car like that early on the car like they would normally do. Let me just bring up the results and I'll go through all the results for you. Uh, the British Grand Prix for race results. So this has been so late but I've been looking at it. I've been waiting to do this until the whole thing with Pirelli come back. And Pirelli has strengthened the tyre for the next race which is in Germany. And the results were Rothberg, Weber, Alonso, Hamilton, Reichstein, Massa, Sutil, Ricardo, Directa and Hulkenberg. I will give the top 10. Uh, Button came 13th, Matt Jolson came 17th. Now the interesting thing here, Paul Directa was moved to the back of the grid due to a... I think his car, if I remember correctly, his car was underweight. And they moved into the back, so for him to get to 10th place from the back of the grid is superb because up until then he would have been in 5th if he didn't have this weight issue. But all in all it was a very good Grand Prix, I'm looking forward to the German one and let's see some more racing but let's hope we don't see any accidents or incidents to do with tyres. It's the last thing the sport needs because it, something like this could kill a driver if they're not expecting it, let's say on an overtake. <gasps> Or, some, or something like that. You don't want to see it ever happen. So let's hope it for a safe Grand Prix in the next one. Catch you guys later. Bye.